Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about static GK. So this is my first video on static GK and I want to bring to you the best static GK. I will make it in parts so that I can focus on individual topics and today I will take up a topic which is the most important topic in static GK which is called headquarters of the world. Now I will take a look at all the important organizations. In between I will keep telling you some extra points which you should know for various organizations and these will be very very effective in all the exams. Static GK is a part of all the exams be it SSC, be it banking exams, be it insurance exam, CLAT, hotel management, you name it. Any exam in India will have Static GK, a dedicated portion of Static GK and therefore you need to be well versed with the entire Static GK. This video will be in English language only. So uh, try to grasp the English language and let me start. So this video is brought to you by me. My name is Dr. Gaurav Garg and I am a faculty for GK and for English at Study IQ Delhi. Now please note that if you want more videos on Static GK, please write in comments and I will put more videos. But I will make only when you write it in comments. Also I want your feedback about if you like this video. So the first organization is United Nations. United Nations is one of the most important organizations and I would say that it was formed after the second world war and since then no third world war has happened. This is a great success of the United Nations. Its headquarter is at New York, United States of America. Next is an agency of United Nations which works for children welfare. It is called UNICEF. This is the logo of UNICEF. As you can see the children. So it is United Nations Children Emergency Fund and its headquarter is also at New York, United States of America. UNICEF is responsible for a lot of initiatives for the betterment and benefit of children across the globe. Next is World Trade Organizations, one of the most important agencies of United Nations. Its headquarter is in the beautiful town of Geneva, uh, Switzerland. In fact, Geneva has headquarter of more than 10 to 15 organizations and therefore Geneva is one of the most important towns of the world with respect to exams. Next is World Health Organization which is responsible for bringing health initiatives across the globe. Lot of initiatives in India have been funded by the WHO and it is one of the most important agencies of the United Nations because health is wealth after all and its headquarter is in Geneva, Switzerland. Next is World Meteorological Organization. The World Meteorological refers to climate. So this is an organization which is responsible for measuring the climate data, uh, seeing the changes in the climate and overall climate changes across the globe and its headquarter is also at Geneva, Switzerland. Now the next is World Intellectual Property Organization. Intellectual property is your own creation. For example, if you have a patent, that is your intellectual property. If you write a song, that is your intellectual property. Intellectual property is just like any property, just that it is a creation of your own intellect, own mind. So World Intellectual Property Organization, the headquarter is again at Geneva, Switzerland. Next is World Food Program. World Food Program, the headquarter is in Rome, Italy. Very, very important World Food Program. Next is Universal Postal Union. Universal Postal Union is at Bern, Switzerland. Next is United Nations University. United Nations University is at Tokyo, Japan. United Nations Population Fund, in short, which is called UNFPA. United Nations Population Fund, the headquarter is at the place where the, there is headquarter of UNICEF and headquarter of United Nations itself. It is in New York, United States of America. Next is United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. UNODC takes various initiatives to control drugs, human trafficking, crime crimes across the globe and its headquarter is at Vienna which is the capital of Austria. Now please note, don't get confused between Austria and Australia. Australia is a separate continent altogether near New Zealand. Austria is a small country in Europe. Next is UNIDO. UNIDO is called United Nations Industrial Development Organization. Its headquarter is again at Vienna, Austria. United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, one of the most important organizations because it is the job of the United Nations to look after the refugees. Now there have been a lot of refugees in countries where a lot of wars are going on. 
for example recently there are wars in afghanistan turkey syria etc and therefore the condition of the refugees is very very bad so unhcr tries to do its bit for refugees to bring them into mainstream to give them shelter food etc through its various initiative through its various activities and therefore united nations high commissioner for refugees is very very important its headquarter is at geneva switzerland next is united nations environment program united nations environment program the headquarter is in nairobi kenya ken nairobi is the capital of kenya it looks for the environment changes again next is unesco unesco is one of the most important organizations because it is responsible for a lot of things it is called united nations educational scientific and cultural organization and its headquarter is in the beautiful city of paris france capital of france paris and it is responsible for uh, various pro even protection of various sites which are called cultural heritage sites next is united nations development program undp its headquarter is at new york united states of america united nations conference on trade and development uncted its headquarter is at geneva switzerland again it looks after the trade and development across nations international telecommunication union its headquarter is also at geneva switzerland international monetary fund it is the second biggest fund after world bank in the world it has one of the highest number of subscribers and international monetary fund the headquarter is in the capital of united states of america which is called washington dc world bank world bank has given maximum loan to india out of all the countries in the world in the last 50 years this report was released by the world bank we are the biggest beneficiaries india is the biggest beneficiary of the loan from the world bank and its headquarter is also where there is headquarter of imf so both world bank and imf have headquarter at washington usa next is nato nato is north atlantic treaty organization its headquarter is at brussels belgium which is a country in the europe and nato is very very popular nato is very powerful because it has lot of countries and they have one rule if you attack one country of nato that means you are attacking all the countries of nato nato is dominated by the united states of america next is oecd oecd is called organization for economic cooperation and development its headquarter is in the beautiful city of paris which is the capital of france and oecd is very very important for economic cooper uh, establishing economic cooperation between the countries next is international olympic committee which conducts olympic games it's it is responsible for everything related to olympics and its headquarter is in the lausanne in switzerland international hockey federation which looks after all the hockey events across the world like the hockey world cup and various other initiatives its headquarter is also in lausanne switzerland iucn it is the international union for conservation of nature and iucn please note that iucn gives the red list also for protection of various species which are on the verge of extinction its headquarter is in glon in switzerland next is very important organization which is called doctors without borders in french it is called medecin sans frontieres this basically helps in uh, health activities across the world and its headquarter is in geneva switzerland fide fide is the world body for chess it is also called world chess federation and its headquarter is in the city of athens which is the capital of greece international cricket council this is easy its headquarter is in dubai united arab emirates next is opec opec are all those countries put together which export oil so it is the organization of petroleum exporting countries like saudi arabia like angola venezuela etc these are countries are part of the opec and the headquarter of opec is in vienna which is the capital of austria next is transparency international which tries to fight corruption across the globe high profile corruption cases its headquarter is in the capital of germany berlin organization of islamic cooperation which is a group of various countries which are predominantly islamic their headquarter is in the city of jeddah in middle east the commonwealth which organizes commonwealth games also it is a big organization having lot of countries like india south africa etc and its headquarter is in london united kingdom next is amnesty international amnesty international is basically regarding ethics and it prevents human rights it uh, claims to protect human rights across the world 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एनी इंडियन हु इज ट्रैप्ड इन सऊदी अरेबिया एम एस टी इंटरनेशनल विल ट्राई टू गिव हिम मर्सी विल ट्राई टू फाइल पेटिशन एटसेट्रा इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज इन लंडन यूनाइटेड किंगडम इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेक्स्ट इज इंटरनेशनल मेरी टाइम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेरी टाइम मीन्स एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू ओशियंस सो दिस इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल द एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू ओशियंस सेटलिंग ओशियन डिस्प्यूट ऑल्सो एंड इंटरनेशनल मेरी टाइम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इन लंडन यू के इट इज मेनली कंसर्न विद ओशियंस इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अगेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज इन जेनेवा स्विटरलैंड इट इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल द लेबर रिलेटेड इशूज बिटवीन द कंट्रीज नेक्स्ट इज इंटरनेशनल फंड फॉर एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज इन रोम इटली एनी थिंग दैट हैज रिलेटेड टू फूड इज इन इटली सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फूड वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम इज इन इटली फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इन इटली एंड आई एफ ए डी इंटरनेशनल फंड फॉर एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट इज ऑल्सो इन इटली इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस द हेड क्वार्टर इज इन द हाग विच इज अटी इन नैदरलैंड नैदरलैंड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हॉलैंड इट लुक्स फॉर वेरियस डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द कंट्रीज आई सी एओ इज इंटरनेशनल सिविल एविएशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज इन द ब्यूटिफुल सिटी ऑफ मॉन्ट्रियाल कैनेडा इंटरनेशनल एटॉमिक एनर्जी एजेंसी इंटरनेशनल एटॉमिक एनर्जी एजेंसी विच लुक्स फॉर वेरियस इश्यू इशूज रिलेटेड टू न्यूक्लियर पावर एटॉमिक पावर एक्सेट्रा इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज एट वियना ऑस्ट्रिया फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज आई सेट एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर द हेड क्वार्टर विल बी इन इटली सो इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज इन द कैपिटल ऑफ इटली कॉल्ड रोम सार्क सार्क इज साउथ एशियन एसोसिएशन फॉर रीजनल कॉपरेशन इट इज कंपोज ऑफ एट कंट्रीज लाइक नेपाल इंडिया पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान श्रीलंका एटसेट्रा एंड सार्क इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज एट काठमांडू नेपाल आसियान आसियान इज एसोसिएशन ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशियन नेशंस साउथ ईस्ट एशियन नेशंस लाइक सिंगापुर लाइक मलेशिया इंडोनेशिया एटसेट्रा एंड इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज एट Jakarta which is the capital of Indonesia APEC APEC is Asia Pacific Economic Forum Cooperation and its headquarter is in Singapore Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank it is a bank which is dominated by China China has the maximum share in AIIB and it gives out loans for various infrastructure related activities in Asia its headquarter is in Beijing China NDB NDB is the new development bank which is also called the BRICS bank because the brics countries have kept their money in it brazil russia india china and south africa its head quarter is in shanghai in china adb is a japan dominated bank because the maximum share in adb is of japan and it is called asian development bank its head quarter is in the capital of philippines which is called manila it is the red cross organization which is one of the most important organization related with blood donation and various other health initiatives across the globe its head quarter is in geneva switzerland it is called international committee of the red cross uefa which is the football body in europe all the football tournaments in europe are conducted by uefa such as uefa euro or uefa champions league and it is its head quarter is in neo in switzerland then you have the fifa which is the world governing body it conducts world cup and various other cups which are at the world level and fifa is the most important body in football its head quarter is at zurich switzerland so this was the first part of static general knowledge where i covered all the head quarters if you want me to make more videos on static general knowledge please write in comments so this was head quarters of the world don't forget to subscribe our channel and share the video with your friends Thank you